Mambo VP everybody welcome back to all news where we keep you updated with everything that happens around the world. Kan mara ya kwa kwanza ku watch our videos please remember to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that you don't miss our next trending stories. Najua bado tuko kwenye mood ya festive season na wasene wanaendelea kujibamba mahali wako sahi and I hope venye tunaendelea kujibamba we are doing that responsibly. Remember bado Kenya needs you. I will see you. Now we're going to do a review of the most hated songs in the year 2019 here in Kenya. Hizi ni zile ngoma zili spark a negative public reaction. Na hizi ni zile ngoma zilifanya wa Kenya wakajam mitandao ni. Now before even we waste time to answer sahi, we start with number 4. Number 4 ni ngoma ya Alvindo inayojulikana kama Taka taka. Taka taka means in English trash. Hii ngoma Alvino anasema it is it is based on a true story ambapo anasema kuna msichana fulani alimtenda kimapenzi and Alvindo was disappointed and became mad and angry at this lady. So he decided to write this song showing his frustration eh na umschana. Now according to Alvindo when he freestyled on that song ali post to ali yani lenda to viral live through whatsapp and it reached KRG the dawn KRG the dawn looked for Alvindo akampeleka kwenye studio oh, hey, Magix Enga ka record yo ngoma Alvindo akafanya kazi yake hapo na ikaeko kwenye mtandao pale kwa YouTube kwa channel ya KRG the Dawn. Now after hiyo ngoma imekuwa release our moral police inajulikana kama Ezekiel Mutua decided to look for Alvindo. Akasema kwamba hii ngoma ya takataka portrays women as trash. Akaambia Alvindo, you should report yourself to the nearest police station. Eh, kwa sababu we are coming for you. We are not going to allow you to insult our women. <laughs> na unajua pia kuna madem na wasi wengi wali back Ezekiel eh, Mutua akisema by the way ni ukweli. Hii ngome inatukana madem and we it will not allow that. It's unacceptable. Ailimbidi Alvindo enda mafichoni for few days kwa sababu alikuwa anahofia kushikwa kwa sababu ya hii ngoma. We ogopo wa Kenya. Let's go to number 3. Number 3 ni ngoma inayojulikana kama Pigwa Shoka. Pigwa Shoka was released by Shady Empire. Mnakumbuka wakati ambapo Pigwa Shoka ilikuwa released ni wakati ambapo kulikuwa na uh, some sad moments ambapo kijana anayejulikana kama Naftali alimkata msichana fulani anayejulikana Ivy kama IV na Shoka hadi akafa. Na hii incident ile happen in Eldoret kwenye chuo cha Moi teaching and referral hospital huko Now after few days ya hiyo incident ku happen head empire waliamua ku release hii ngome nayo ito pigwa shoka au tunajua wa Kenya tunakuanga ni ya habit ya if anything comes out iki trend we decide to sing something for a uh, trend na hiyo kitu ambayo ina trend so shady empire wakaamua kutaki hiyo chance waka release ngome nayo ito pigwa shoka ambapo wanasema slay queen a pigwa shoka yani na inaambia tu yani mademo apigwe shoka na unajua wa Kenya mazo wali jamu akasema mazi this is not right especially when they release this song during this sad moment yani i want a heshima kwa ivy aliye and uh, rest in peace ivy by the way uh, wakasema kwamba these guys don't have respect respect on iv now she the empire were forced to come and apologize wakisema kwamba it is not what we thought Now that was not even enough Ezekiel Motua said he had ordered the DCIs to look for these guys because they sound violent. Now Ingo mapia ilikuwa released kwenye YouTube pale and it was deleted few hours after it was released. We manze wa Kenya manze nini hodari. That was number 3 for us. Uh, kama ujasikia ngoma taweke hapo ka, ka, ka video kidogo tu mwi watch ndio hii video yenyewe sikiza tu hiyo ngoma kidogo now let's go to number 2 number 2 ni ngoma ya 
Willie Paul inayojulikana kama Lamba Nyonyo. <laughs> Manze Willie Paul anakuwa kana vituko maze. Now hii ngoma ukiangalia kwenye YouTube pale this is the first time mimi naona ngoma iko na dislikes nyingi kushinda likes. Ukiangalia dislikes iko na 35,000 dislikes na likes in very few. Ngoma yenyewe iko na 700,000 views. Hey, na mnajua Willie Paul ni kijana wa Mascandos. This is not the first time Willie Paul is being mentioned. Na mnajua Willie Paul was formerly a gospel musician even though he still says that he still a gospel musician and uh, now waswali kwa anasema manze this was not acceptable for a gospel musician to release such a song especially talking about such sensitive matters kulamba nyonyo means sucking breast eh manze wa Kenya wali jam ni aje but who is Willie Paul Willie Paul akasema ah yenye endeleeni kuongea Furthermore, hamunipi chochote na Willie Paul akaacha hiyo ngoma hapo na ikaendelea akisema kwamba yeye hiyo ngoma it was just a feel good song and he had no intentions of uh, making somebody mad. I'll see you. Now let's go to number one. Number one song here the most hated me Tarimbo by Epic. Najua Tarimbo umesikia kwa watu wengi. Now according to Tarimbo by Ethic in ngoma ukisikiza kwenye chorus Ethic yani wanasema kwamba eh wao wanaweza piga bila permission wanaweza muaga bila permission vitu kama hizo but remember wa Kenya watakani kujua kama hiyo ngoma iko na secret meaning or not immediately it was released many people showed their disappointment on, uh, on eighth wakisema manze hapa eighth kata kama ni creativity ni hapa ni kubaya manze it was disrespectful cuz kulingana na chorus watu wengi wa level translate walisema it kinda promoted violence against women akisema kwamba it promoted rap culture kwa hiyo ngoma unaelewa Ezekiel Motoa kusikia ngoma akasema ehe hawa watu watoto wakubali hawa Ezekiel Motoa wrote to Google akisema hii ngoma it should be pulled down from YouTube because it promoted rap culture against women ingawaje ethic entertainment walijitokeza waka apologize wakasema si vile sisi tulikuwa tunafikiria they were not any, any in any way trying to promote violence against women neither were they promoting rap culture and against women ethic entertainment waka apologize but that wasn't enough ezekiel mutua made sure that that song has been deleted permanently from youtube remember this is not the, the first time ngoma ethic entertainment na kwa deleted one of the songs that was deleted was figa ambapo ilikuwa deleted few days after it was released kwenye youtube kulingana na uh, figa inasemekana kwamba they copied the beat from somebody and so they received a copyright strike where ethic manze ni kunoma you guys enye wa kenya walisema hivi ukifanya kazi safi tutai support ukifanya kazi chafu tunaitupa nje those are kenyans for you anyway thank you for watching let's meet next time Bye bye. Happy New Year in advance.